Biking for a cause. That is what one Marine is doing to raise awareness and support the Wounded Warrior Project. The veteran is biking across the United States and part of his journey takes him through Southern Colorado. Here on News Channel 13's Jessica Grunling caught up with him during a pit stop in Manitou Springs. And I use America Adventure Cycling Association's um, Trans-America Trail bicycle routes. Those routes will take Nick Novotny from his start point in Tillamook, Oregon to Glenside, Pennsylvania. I'm going to modify it. In Kentucky, I'm hopping on the Underground Railroad Trail that goes up to Columbus, Ohio. Then I'm taking the Chicago to New York alternate route, and that's going to take me across and under Pennsylvania through Philly and then to the coast. A journey he didn't get much training for. So I only trained for about two and a half months for this. Most of the training value I've gotten so far has been on the ride so far. But one that has a big meaning. I kind of thought to myself, if you're going to try to like put an exclamation point behind a message, you got to do something maybe a little bit abnormal. Nick is riding for his friend Corporal James Curry, someone who had a lasting impact on his life after serving in the Marine Corps for six years. He was like a Marine's Marine, but also in, in the same light, he also was like, uh, unlike a lot of Marines, he didn't really have this like huge ego or like huge like, oh, I got to be in charge. Like he was such a nice, genuine guy. Like, in May of 2020, James died after battling with mental health issues. Like, he was too afraid to, you know, seek help because he was afraid of command backlash. And that's not a work environment anybody should be in, whether military or not. Which is why Nick is making such a big statement with this ride. He wants to raise money for James's family, the Wounded Warrior Project, and bring awareness to the lack of mental health resources. And I think a lot of it comes down to access to third-party um, programs. I think there is a stigma, you know, especially for Marines. I can I can tell you now, Marines have a chip on their shoulder, and they don't want to, you know, try to admit to their problems, and they're afraid to get help. In Manitou Springs, Jessica Grunling, KRDO News Channel 13. So Nick will leave Manitou tomorrow and get back on the trail in Pueblo. You can follow along on his journey through Facebook and Instagram. We have the links to those posted over at KRDO.com. Absolutely Colorado is a partnership in your community between KRDO, Centura Health, and Gold Hill Mesa. Flying frustrations this morning cause chaos at airports across the nation. A look at the travel nightmare next. Plus, the county coroner identifies the victim in a crash that caused major problems over the weekend. 13 investigates exposed a shortfall in the number of vaccines being distributed to El Paso County. After our special report on the issue, CSPD even mentioning our coverage in the presentation this week. Potential changes are happening at the state level after 13 investigates revealed your personal privacy is up for sale for millions of dollars. When KRDO is more effective in shutting these places down, 